I recently made a video on building this filler plate for my Harbor Freight press. And in that video, I needed to build or bend a step bend on both ends of this material. So I came up with a very simple die for making that step bend and locking this workpiece in the die. So I kind of wanted to share that. It's not groundbreaking and the chances of you bending this exact piece of metal is really low. So I hope that you might take something from this concept or an idea in what I'm doing here and add that in to your next project. I'm not an expert and I looked a lot on YouTube for different ideas of bending dies and outside of industrial applications, I didn't see a lot. So probably not experts watching this video. It's guys like me trying to learn how to do this and figure this out. So watch the video and hopefully it'll give you some kind of idea or knowledge for your next project. Okay, so I ended up using quite a bit of scrap material to try to figure out how to make some sort of bending die. This is kind of what I came up with. I haven't done this before, so I'm not saying this is the exact way to do it. You can bend this in any fashion that you see fit. So this is going to be my base plate that I'm going to attach everything to. And since this is 3 16 we need to make a 3 16 step. So we're going to have our 3 16 material that we're going to weld on there. Now I cut this piece out to kind of hold this plate in, in place. When I'm bending, I don't want it to slide around. So we'll weld that on there as well. And this is gonna be our upper plate that we're gonna press down. So on one end, we're gonna to have to weld on 3 16 plate as well. And it'll do something like that. And then I thought about welding these on the end that all this will fit in between just to keep those two plates from coming apart when we're trying to bend this material. It may, may not be needed, but I'm thinking about it, so I'm just gonna put it in. So I'll weld that on both sides, weld one of these on both sides. So let's weld this together and see if we can make this work.
Thanks for watching.